through what happened there when you went back to the locker room? Um, just had a little minor injury that we had to take care of. You ready for the fourth quarter? Looking back on it, um, I think you sat maybe six minutes of game time and whatever in timeouts. And how much did that help you clo- be able to close the game the way that you did? Uh, I mean, obviously throughout the series and, and especially today, any little rest I was able to get, um, you know, benefited me and, uh, you know, ultimately benefited our team. David Glennon, ESPN. LeBron, from early February through the end of the season, you almost averaged a triple-double. You were playing at a very high level. It, it, it seemed to many of us watching these seven games, you took it even to another level. How do you assess uh, your play to help the Cavs be in the second round? Um, I just try to do whatever it takes to help us win. And um, I felt like um, I just wanted to do that again in this series. Um just try to make plays offensively and defensively. Continue to trust my guys um, and, and trust myself and trust, you know, how much work I've put into my game. So, um, you know, definitely um, it's good to be able to make plays and, and help yourself advance. And, um, um, you know, kudos and, and a big shout out to, to the Indiana Pacers, first of all. Um, you know, they were, they were tough, tough team. They have um, obviously the head of the snake and Vic. Uh, unbelievable um, jump from from last year to this year. Uh, I mean, we all saw it, and um, and he proved it. You know why he's a franchise caliber player, and um, and everybody on down, man. They just got a well rounded team, and um, you know they definitely pushed us. Um, you know, pushed us to the brink basically. Jason with the athletic. It looked like you were checking in <clears throat> when you got back to the bench. Did Kevin hitting that three give you a couple more minutes? Yep. And and you just said they pushed you to the brink. And I know every every playoff series is hard, obviously. And there were a lot of sweeps here the last couple of years that may not have been sweeps if a shot went here or there in the first round. But w- was this w- was this harder than any first round series that you've been a part of in in recent past? Um. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it was it was a challenging series because it's just now. And I, <clears throat> I, I can't even, like, start thinking about, like, previous series and, and say if this was harder than the other or the next. But uh, this, was a, this was a tough series. And uh, like I said, Indiana, was, um, they played as well as anybody's played us all year. And uh, they just got a really good team. Tom with his Associated Press. Bron, what did it mean to have the four holdovers from the three finals teams out there starting together? And then could you just talk about what both Tristan and George did for you guys today? Um, well, we started a game with um, a unit that we knew, all five of us, we knew we, what we could you know, get out of each other. We've been in situations before. We've <clears throat> played in <clears throat> big games before. So, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a comfort to start the game. And, um, and then with G Hill, um, you know, coming in in that third quarter, um, he gives us another ball handler, another facilitator that can make plays uh, for not only himself but for others. And um, you know, for him to get to, you know, he got 11 free throws in the second half. He was being aggressive. Um, you know, we needed every every bit of it. So, you know, I said the post game uh, on the court. I said it's, it's not very often where you able to split the game ball in half, but. Uh, G Hill and Double T did that tonight. And can you just talk about Kyle's pass to you with 30 seconds to go? Ty Lue said he was scared before it was thrown. Uh, well, he trusted me that I'd catch it. <laughs> and there was some traffic. Um, he didn't have to make that pass, but he trusted that I'd catch it. And, um, you know, Bajanovic was overplaying me. I went back doors, one of the, you know, simple plays in the game, a give and go. And, um, you know, Kyle was able to make the pass, and I was able to get the layup. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. LeBron, this kind of series against Indiana, where do you think it can benefit this group the most moving forward? I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a great series, and um, you know, we had some ups, we had some downs. <clears throat> um, but I don't know. We move on to the next series. Um, it was a good test for us, especially for this ball club. Uh, Steve Ashmore. 
Tristan.com. When trusting your guys gets so rewarded as it was early with Tristan and, and some other guys, and then during that stretch when you sat, what, is, what does that mean for you, and, and what does it mean for them to be able to step up and, and sort of lighten your load a little bit? Uh, well, I mean, listen, we all, we're a team. I mean, it's not, it's not one individual. We're a team, and, you know, all of us expect so much out of each other. You know, and uh, no matter who's out on the floor, we expect, you know, guys to make plays. And, um, you know, that's what happened tonight or today. Marla Rodney, our Akron Beacon Journal. How physically taxing was this whole series and maybe today? Um, it was a good test. Um, but that's what you train for all year. You train all year to be able to put yourself in a position where, However, the series is, or however a playoff series is, then your body can respond. So, um, when expect, I wouldn't expect anything less. While you were while you were back there in the locker room, nobody suggested do you need an IV or anything. Yeah. Did you turn them down? Yeah. Tom Reed, the athletic LeBron. Could you just expand a little bit on on? Uh, Tristan's performances, particularly early in the game, that helped get you guys off to the good start? Um, I mean, that's the Tristan that we know. And um, giving us extra possessions, catching the ball on rolls, finishing. Um, just his energy, his effort. Um, that's how he's made his name in his league, by just being high motor and being able to outwork who's ever, you know, across from him. So, and what I'm sorry, what had, did you or he say during the stretch when he wasn't getting a lot? How was his attitude and how did you you try to help him along during a kind of a tough stretch for him? Um, well, he stayed ready. Um, you know, they, they were playing five on five games, sometimes four on four for the guys that don't play a lot or that's out of the rotation. And uh, Double T has been a part of that <clears throat> the last couple of weeks because he's been out of the rotation. So he's keeping his body right, um, going out and playing, um, you know, with some of our assistant coaches, um, you know, and some of our players that have been out of the rotation, just keeping his mind uh, sharp and ready for whenever his number is called. And, um, you know, he's a veteran now, and it's his seventh year, and he's a vet. And, you know, tonight was – or today was an example of a professionalism, being able to, you know, whenever your number is called, being able to go out and still produce. And, um, you know, like I said, he was um, – he took the challenge, and uh, he definitely thrived in that today. Scott Sarge, WFNY. Your your exit late third and early fourth was pretty much unplanned, and that five man that Ty went with was, I think, three of nineteen uh, shooting before that. What can you say about what that group was able to do during that stretch? And I know you're not a big momentum guy, but is that something they can build off of going forward to the next series? I mean, it was a huge stretch. We, I mean, it was a two point game to start the fourth quarter. And uh, and those guys went on the run, and uh, you know Kev, you know hit some big shots. Um, and he had to pull up um, off G Hill's pass, and you know Jeff Green had got the post up, um, was able to drive middle and hit Kev on the right wing for another three. Um, you know even with Jordan, Jordan was able to get into the lane, he missed the left hand layup, but he was attacking and you know just putting pressure on their defense, and we was able to get stops too. That helped. That helped out a lot. And, um, you know, it was just big for not only you know myself to be able to get a couple more minutes of rest, but uh, for the guys that was out on the floor as well. Not to look too far ahead, but how does what you saw from Indiana, especially their bigs, translate to what you're going to see uh, next round? I don't know. I, I'm burnt right now. I'm not thinking about Toronto right now until tomorrow. I'm ready to go home. Can we? I'm I'm tired. I want to go home. So, Mike Wilbon, ESPN, LeBron. You spoke so, so affectionately about Game 7s, and you have in the past as well. Did this, I know you haven't had much time to reflect, but did this feel different to you from the other whatever five or six you were in? No, nah, it felt like a Game 7. It was like, you know, your mind is thinking like, okay, you know, besides the, the, the two I've played in the finals, but you start thinking like, is this it? Could this be it? You know, that's just human nature. And then the other side of, of my brain was like, let's go make something happen. You know, let's go. This is you. This is what you're here for. You know, you're here to make plays. You know, you're the leader. And um, you know, obviously, I can't. I don't know if I'm gonna shoot the ball well, but I know I'm gonna be efficient. I know I'm gonna have my mind into it. Besides, when I allowed DC to just drive down the lane, I wasn't even paying attention. 
in the third quarter. Uh, but other than that, I was just trying to be sharp. I know I could be sharp. And um, and I know that I'm not going to leave a game seven. It's like, uh, uh, I wish I would have did this or I wish I would have did that. I, I'll be able to leave, <clears throat> you know, the game, you know, and sleep comfortably, um, you know, because I'm going to leave everything on the floor. So that was just my mindset.